Let's take a look at speed, distance and time. So you need to learn the formula for speed, you need to learn the formula for distance and the formula for time. And this triangle is designed to help you, but it's only helpful if you remember how to draw it. Um, I normally remember that it's in alphabetical order from top to bottom and from left to right. So D is first in the alphabet, then the next row S is before T. And the way it works is if, you're, if you wanna work out speed, hide speed, so speed is therefore distance over time. If you want time, put your thumb over the time, time is distance over speed. And if you want distance, hide distance, speed, um, distance is speed times time. The way I teach it, I normally teach people that to remember that speed is distance divided by time. And whenever you've got a formula where A is B divided by C, the A and the C can be flipped around. So C is B divided by A. So if speed is distance over time, time is the distance divided by speed. And we can apply that to density as well. Density is mass over volume. So therefore volume equals mass over density, just flipping these two things over. So if speed is distance divided by time, the only formula we need now is our distance one. So what we need to do for our distance formula is get rid of the divide by time and move it across to the other side of the equal sign. And when you move something from one side of, of an equation to another, you need to change the sign to the opposite of what it is. Now the opposite of dividing is multiplying. So speed multiplied by time is distance. So there are your three formulae. Speed is distance divided by time. You can flip the S and the T to turn it into time is distance over speed. And I suppose this is the hard one to manipulate, but speed times time is distance or learn the triangle, whichever works best for you.